right, so this is the fill site at uh, Port Byron. We're actually down in Rapid City, which is the next town down from Port Byron. Uh, way up there at the far end, you can almost see the tower flowing water. Uh, so we're about a two mile run, I think, something like that. We get down here, taking about a 20 minute round trip loading. Uh, Folded tanks, new floating adductor. And it's being supplied by three inch hose, two and a half inch hose coming off of the uh, Port Byron pumper. And the adductor is picking up and feeding that five inch line. And the five inch line, like we saw in a previous video, the five inch line is filling a 4,000 gallon tank. And uh, just to verify, that ductor is being fed by two and a half. So being fed by two and a half, come back around, and this is feeding this 4,000. So this is a 4,000 gallon dump tank. Then the Port Byron pumper, which is a 1250 pumper, he's drafting and he's filling tenders. Right now they're filling tender uh, using two and a half inch hose, 100 feet of two and a half. They've been averaging about four minutes on a 3,000 gallon tanker tender. Uh, not the 1,000 gallon a minute mark, but they wanted to try out this setup. So uh, some lessons being learned here. In real life on this boat ramp, you probably would just take that pumper, take it down to the boat ramp, run dual suctions out of it, and uh, be done with. But again, you know, we wanted to look at, they wanted to use this portable eduction. So single fill site on this drill, and uh, crews are coming in and being uh, loaded up and then headed back for the dump operation.